Ajá. When you put it like that, like that, like that, like that, you like mm -hmm. Think you got it like that, when I act like that, alright mm -hmm. You know about to have to backtrack, backtrack Back on track, you right mm -hmm. You right, you right, you right, you right. Send it back home to special vlog correspondent Allie Kearns to see what she was up to during the game. Thanks, Annie. This week I'm watching the game from the library. Three tests next week, but things are still getting pretty lit right now. My name is Jordan Sarles. I'm the assistant director of recruiting. My primary role is day-to-day -day recruiting operations, making sure that we have everything that we need from a uh, recruiting standpoint to, uh, to recruit as efficiently and as, as effectively as, as possible. So it's uh, visits for our coaching staff, it's travel arrangements, it's communication with prospects, on-campus visits, making sure that the entire recruiting operation is running smoothly from on a day-to-day -day basis. The war room is kind of where everything starts. All right, We have uh, the board, three boards worth of, of recruits. It's around 300 kids when we start, and as we go, as kids progress in the recruiting process, process, uh, those boards get pared down. So I think it would actually probably help if I just sh show you, right? So let's go take a look at the boards. Don't don't tell anybody, because I think this is, this is pretty top secret stuff. Way. So just keep it under wraps. We, uh, we got guys like um, All the guys that you guys know as, as the top prospects in, uh, in the country, and uh, we, we're trying to get them to come to Clemson. So this is where it all begins. As we start the recruiting process with them, we go through evaluations. We make sure that, uh, that we know who they are as people. We make sure that, that they fit uh, from a character standpoint, and we make sure, obviously, that they fit as a football player, too. And uh, from this board, we transition and, and start communicating, start traveling to, uh, to visit these kids, make sure that we know um, everything about them before we, we get them to sign on the dotted line and, and become Tigers. Yeah, so we do a lot of different things helping the coaches out. Um, one in particular is monitoring social media for the prospects that we're looking at, uh, making sure that they're tweeting the, the right things and not putting bad things uh, to the public and making sure that we're bringing in the right type of guys. Not only do our student workers work in recruiting, they kill bugs. Got him. My name is Ty Clements. I'm the coordinator of recruiting operations here at Clemson Football. And what are we about to do? We're about to do a typical prospect tour all the way through the campus. No, no you're not. Yeah, I, I spent a lot of time here. You know, there's a lot of different things that the, the staff's trying to do, which are really cool things, but you know, and you know, we try and be as helpful as possible, but inevitably sometimes the answer is gonna be no. So obviously you're looked at as the bad guy or whatever, but you know, that's not what we're trying to do. It's just, sometimes you just gotta tell people no. I've got a couple different things that I do. I handle all of the on-campus visits, so unofficials, official visits, recruiting events, game days. Anytime we've got a prospect on campus, I'm going to help plan that event and then execute the event. So I spend a lot of time with the prospects and a lot of time with their families. So I'll kind of I'll be watching the road up here, and when I when I know someone's coming and they park, I'll kind of say hello make them feel comfortable and then I'll run down and, and welcome them, give them a good welcome. Let the, and let the coaches know they're here too. So so I'll literally see them from the beginning to the end of their visit. So, Head it over to graphics. I'll probably make this walk from here to the graphics. Ah! <laughs> 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 For the vlog. 
Are we still doing this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, the graphics room is this way. <laughs> graphics, we're live right now. This is Jeff Fellers, our graphics coordinator, best in the country. So these are two of our graphics students here. Jordan Miller is actually an intern. This is Lydia, she's brand new. Hey. So what are y'all working on? So basically, I kind of manage and oversee all the recruiting graphics that we send out to all of our recruits on a weekly basis, um, as well as handle all of our um, internal requests that we get from coaches and other staff. Which is not stop. So we get Jeff's dealing with a lot of stuff all the time, and he's he's the he help you out a good bit. Oh yeah, definitely. We have a lot of fun. Um, right now we have nine. Uh, students that are working part-time and then we have Jordan here who is our full-time student intern for the semester um, and so we really couldn't do it without them um, the, the amount of graphics that we send out a week is kind of incredible so having a big squad of students to kind of help um, with the workload has been awesome um, every week it seems like we do more and more pretty cool room Hey y'all, my name is Morgan Tadlock and I'm the Recruiting Administrative Assistant. Okay. Some of my main responsibilities here are setting up for game day, so getting ready for all of our recruits to come in on Saturdays, setting up all the tables, making the name tags, making sure we have all of our compliance forms done when their parents come in and get their tickets. Also help manage the student schedule, so we have girls and guys who help out on game days and then also some who help out during the week. Um, I manage their schedules, make sure that we have people here throughout the week to do the mail, um, help out coaches if they need help when they go on the road recruiting and things like that. Also helping me to get things set up for game days. So once the graphics are made in there, we send them to the print shop on campus. Those get printed, come over here to our office. We have our students here who stuff them in envelopes, label them to all the guys we're recruiting. Um, on average, we send about three to 400 pieces of mail a week. What are you doing? Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. How important are the minor details? Well, I mean, I know some of them can be pretty silly, um, but in essence, that's what can, that can make the difference um, between permissive and not permissive. We just make sure that what we're sending out and what we're providing to prospects and their families within the rules and regulations of the NCAA. Like Morgan said, every day on average we take about 300 to 400 pieces of mail to the mailroom around 1245. It's a lot faster than it looks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Coach Sweeney and I were teammates at Alabama together. He's a couple years older than I am. So, um, of course, all teammates are close, but we probably came a little closer in my last two years. It was actually during the time when I was sharing an office with Dabo that I knew he was special. So I had a construction background, and Coach Sweeney knew that. So then, as I came to Clemson, I really didn't know what I was going to do. But even early on, he kept had this vision, forever home is what he called it, even five years ago. I'm going to build a forever home with the Clemson Tigers, and had pretty much on a napkin. And he kind of drew it out. I think he did the same thing for, for, for Dan. And so he kind of knew, he just needs somebody to come in with a background that I had and kind of put all the pieces together and make his vision come true. The first time we really started talking about this building with the architect, I remember Dad was saying, hey, I want this building to be Clemson, I want it to be um, fun, and I want it to be family. And the slide came up early. He says, you know, that Google movie, um, but the slide, we need a slide in the building. He got excited, and that's kind of the birth of the slide. So everything kind of had a purpose, but at the end of the day, it, was, it came back to the culture of how we try to do, do this program. And to have a great culture, you got to spend time together, and that's kind of what this building does. It makes people want to be here and not go home, and come over on a Friday night, come over on a Saturday night. And, and that was the birth of the ideas behind this building. What's the first thing we wanted to see? And Coach Sweeney said he wanted to be about building men first. And we knew we had Jeff Davis, who to me was a, just an outstanding individual on our staff and for what he did. 12, 14 hours a day, he's talking one-on-one -on, -one on making better men. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. 
We have 120 players and 120 lockers, and Coach Sweeney puts in numerical order. That, therefore, you might have a receiver next to a defensive lineman, and it just kind of creates that team atmosphere, team bonding. And he, he wanted to be standing in one spot and be able to see everybody. We created the Paul Bistro, and Paul and Donna have created what probably to me is the best food in the state. My boys out here cooking. What's your cooking? Hey, we're doing a little omelet right here, man. Hey, we got a little uh, onions, ham, and um, tomatoes and peppers. Okay, let's dip the front down and pop it up. Ready? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. You ever cook an omelet before? Nah, it's my, it's my first time. So you can tell you're ready when nothing else can fall out. Got to get it right, right here with a nice flip. Like a whole 360, we just need a 180. You mean that? Yeah, that's how we do. His dad but always wants the families to come be a part of it as well. And I'll be honest with you, uh, most of our kids can beat me in bowling, but I am getting a little bit better. Yeah, for those that have seen me play golf, understand that I need to practice all we can. That's actually a pretty good shot right there. Almost stayed on the green. <laughs> Wow. I'm um, about to do a game of paintball again before practice. It's time to just take our mind off the football and just hang out and still compete. You're a horrible. Let me restart. <laughs> what am I best at? Games wise or? Oh, oh, oh. I bet. What's the trick in this game? There's no trick, I'm garbage. Don't look at me. <laughs> What's the trick in this game? No miss. No money. Kobe. Oh! None of this would be possible about you, you the fans who would pay the Ipte dudes and buy the tickets and Dan and Graham over there allowing us to really increase our presence in recruiting here. Thanks to everybody for making it successful because it's a team effort to be the best.